The Golden Bear Jack William Nicholas is a retired American professional golfer and a golf course designer. Many believe him to be the greatest golfer of all time. Over a quarter century, he won a record 18 major championships, three more than Tiger Woods, so it's no surprise that Jack has earned a lot of money over the course of his career, not only as a professional golfer, but through his business as well. Today, we will look at Jack Nicholas' net worth, his super fit lifestyle, and his hot girlfriend. Stay tuned to find out. Welcome to 24 Golf. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video for your daily dose of golf content. This man needs no introduction. If anything at all, he is considered a legend. Nicholas has had a long historic journey in golf. What started off as a mere passing sport soon turned into a passion. A passion so strong that he went from playing golf to designing golf courses. Now you can take it from us that designing a golf course is not as easy as it looks. It's not only about beautiful landscapes and jaw-dropping locations. To design a golf course, one needs to have an eye for the sport and impeccable knowledge of the sport. And Jack Nicklaus clearly has both. The Beginning In 1959, Jack Nicklaus won the U.S. Novice and finished second in the 1960 U.S. Open, falling behind Arnold Palmer by only two shots. His first expert triumph was in 1961, when he received his major expert triumph at the 1962 U.S. Open. With a record 18 major championships, he sure managed to secure serious prize money. But how much is Jack now worth? Jack Nicklaus is the fourth highest paid athlete of all time. According to Forbes, Nicklaus's career earnings are around $1.15 billion, and the Golden Bear sits on a mind-numbing net worth of $400 million. Incredible. But let's take a look at how this professional athlete spends his millions. Despite his incredible earnings, he maintains a modest lifestyle, living way below his means. Not a man who splurges. Take the man's watch, for example. It is a rather expensive one, a Rolex. But Nicholas has only had one watch his entire life, and he received it as a gift from the company in 1967. According to the golfer, it's been with him every day since. He said, First watch and the only watch I have ever owned. I have worn it every day of my life. I would wear it to the course, take it off before playing, and then, walking off the 18th hole, put my wallet back in my pocket and my watch back on my wrist. Jack Nicklaus is the fourth highest paid athlete of all time. You would be surprised to know that a significant part of his earnings has not come from the prize money. Apart from being one of the greatest golfers ever, Nicklaus is also a very successful businessman off the course. This is likely due to his unshakable work ethic. As Nicholas himself put it, most people work all their life to retire to play golf. I played golf all my life to retire to work. He is the founder of Nicholas Design, which was first established 50 years ago. Jack Nicholas has been involved in golf course design since the mid-1960s when Pete Dye asked his opinion when creating the golf club in Columbus, Ohio. By the end of the 60s, he helped design Harbor Town Golf Links in South Carolina. In 1974, he designed the Muirfield Village Golf Club in Dublin, Ohio. This course has hosted the Memorial Tournament and several other golf events. The first time he designed a golf course on his own was in the mid-70s, when he designed the Glen Abbey Golf Course in Oakville, Ontario. After several additional design ventures, Jack and his sons created Nicholas Design. By 2019, the company had designed 299 golf courses throughout the world. To date, he has designed more than 380 golf courses spanning 36 countries. Not only does he create golf courses, but he has a line of golf balls and, like his former rival, Arnold Palmer. Jack Nicklaus has engaged in several brand endorsement deals over the years. One of the most notable was with the Arizona Beverage Company. Jack lent his name and likeness to a unique flavor of lemonade iced tea drinks sold by the company. And in 2010, Jack partnered with Terlato Wines to create a unique collection of three wines from the Napa Valley region. These included a red blend, a Cabernet Sauvignon, and a white blend. In 2012, the company released another Golden Bear Reserve Red Blend to commemorate the 50th anniversary of Jack's first major championship. Outside of these business, he had multiple endorsement and marketing deals with Perry Ellis and Rolex. Not only is he modest with his money, he also loves to help and contribute. Philanthropic Engagements Jack has been known to engage in philanthropic practices. He has donated hundreds of millions of dollars to charity. His most significant donation was in February 2015, when he and his wife Barbara donated $600 million to the Miami Children's Health System. Their donations were made through the Nicholas Children's Healthcare Foundation. To honor this considerable donation made by Nicholas and his wife, the main hospital and its eight satellite outpatient centers were officially renamed the Nicholas Children's Hospital. We admire Jack for giving back so much. The Journey 
Before becoming a professional golfer, let's look at Jack Nicklaus's early life. After he graduated high school, he moved to Ohio State to pursue his studies in pharmacy. He wanted to follow in his dad's footsteps and take up the drugstore after graduation. After three successful years in college, he realized that golf was his true calling. His golf achievements started piling up and he changed his mind from pharmacy to golfing. He won the U.S. Amateur twice during his college years. At 18, he participated in his first PGA Tour event with the Rubber City Open. Throughout this year, he scored positive results. In 1960, he finished two strokes behind the winner at the U.S. Open. During this period, he was considered the world's top amateur golfer. Initially, Jack planned to be the first amateur in history to win the Masters. However, he later chose to go professional at 21 to support his family. He then began his career on the PGA Tour and scored several impressive wins over the years. In 1965 and 1966, he won the Masters back-to-back. -back. Impressive. After his career began to slump towards the end of the 60s, Jack experienced a resurgence in the 1970s. He won the 1971 PGA Championship and led the money list once again during this period. He also became the first player to amass over $3 million in PGA Tour earnings. In 1978, Jack achieved a third career Grand Slam. He continued to play well throughout the 80s, and at the age of 46, he won his sixth Masters. In 1998, he was still playing at the Masters despite hip problems. That year, he achieved the lowest score for any player at the Masters over the age of 50. By the end of his career, he was celebrated for his achievements and his incredible longevity. In the 2000 season, he played four major ones altogether and for all, including his last U.S. Open and PGA Championship begins. He also won the title of the best individual athlete of the 20th century by Sports Illustrated. In 1960, Nicholas married Barbara Bash, a nursing student at Ohio State with whom he had five children together. Jack as the author. Jack Nicholas is also famous for his golf instructional books and videos. His most famous book, Golf My Way, was first published in 1974. This book is all about his stellar golf techniques. Have you read this book? Let us know in the comments. Several books have been reissued under various titles, and My Story is an uncommon great restricted release for the 2000 Memorial Tournament. Ken Bowden, one of the most essential golf writers, regularly helped Nicholas with his work. Since then, it has been republished and adapted into an instructional video. Nicholas also regularly contributes to various golf magazines as a writer, including Golf Magazine. In addition, Nicholas also lent his name to a successful golf video game named Jack Nicholas. He was also a TV examiner as a reporter with ABC Sports on golf broadcasts, property, and real estate. In 2020, it was reported that Jack Nicholas and his wife were selling a property in Aldi, Virginia. They listed the 5,500 square foot home for $2.69 million. Although they custom built the home after purchasing it many years prior, Jack and Barbara never lived in it full time. It is widely believed that Jack only bought the house to have somewhere nice to stay during the Creighton Farms Invitational. In the end, Jack Nicholas has proved to us and himself to be a highly talented personality of his national golf team full of courage, grit, determination, and dedication when it comes to his golf. Are you a big Jack Nicholas fan? Have you played at any of the golf courses designed by him? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to never miss a video from us. That is it for today's video. Thank you for watching.